Criticate! Splat. <laughs> Craig splats onto the <laughs> Craig cannonballs off of the waterfall and into the lake, creating a huge splash. I'm worried for a moment before he finally resurfaces from under the water. Backside up. His oh. arms down. Oh, good. <laughs> no, he's dead. You're not gonna woo you're just gonna not do Craig's lines now? Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> he treads water and looks up at me. You coming or what? Oh god, you know. Also, I are am. you jumping in the water? No. <laughs> Don't think. Just jump. How are you supposed to not think? I'm pretty sure that's not physically possible. My toes grip the edge of the rock. The water looks so far away. Don't think. Just I run off the edge, trying to do my best cannonball. Somewhere in the middle it turns into a really graceful belly flop. I hit the water with a loud slap. Ow. I resurface to find Craig giggling. Oh. I read that belly flop a solid 8 out of 10. Your form was lacking, but your heart was in the right place. Ow. Oh, I playfully splash water at Craig. Nice. Are you sure about that? Oh, here it comes. I splash him again. Oh. <laughs> You've given me no choice. Craig splashes me in the face with a huge wave of water. You've awakened. The burst. Good. He launches another wave of water at me. Don't you put me in a corner here. Don't put a wild animal in the corner. Oh shit. Hammer fist. Dunk him! <laughs> Can we do dunk him first? Just drown him. <laughs> I lunge for Craig and manage to get him in an arm lock. Time for the finishing move! I summon all my dad's strength and lift Craig out of the water. Hey! And I drop him down for the splash. Craig backs, bounces back out of the water. Nice. My turn. Oh shit. Oh no, it seems like Craig was simply allowing me to pick him up and dunk him. He grapples me with his clearly superior muscles and quite literally tosses me across the water. I emerge from the water devastated. You think I did all those pull-ups just so I could look good with my shirt off? Nah, bro. Oh shit. These arm cannons are dad launchers. Oh shit. Oh shit, that works. Nice. <laughs> Craig does a playful flex for me. Damn. Craig, truce, please. Craig thinks about it. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Oh, he's gonna dominate us. We shake hands. There is peace. Man, that jump was such an adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. Not so scary now, huh? Uh, I'll race oh, you to the oh, top. Oh, you know he wants you to do that. Yeah, but I'm still gonna be careful. We run all the way up and slick rocks and cannonball off of the waterfall again. What a rush! Good form on that one. Wanna go again? Just keep doing it. Sure. <laughs> With the same energy we had in our youth, we climb back up to the top of the waterfall. I'm brave enough to try a flip, which I'm sure looks incredibly graceful as I belly flop <laughs> over the water. Phew, man. <laughs> this is fun. Got one more in you? I live for danger. Takes us a little more time, but we get to the waterfall and both do our best running jumps into the water below. All right, I think that's my limit. <laughs> we should get going back before it gets too dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, save it. <laughs> Just go nuts. Yeah? Lose your mind. <laughs> All right, bro, you sure? It's my time to jump. Oh, I think I'm going to hurt myself. I scurry up the rocks once more and do another classic cannonball. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. I'm getting kind of cold. He's <laughs> just annoyed at you. <laughs> no, just keep going. Keep going with it. Go on without me. I've got at least 20 more jumps in me. Uh, okay, dude. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you back there. Weakling! Coward! <laughs> There's, There's nothing. nothing but waterfall! <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet from that fucking hot guy so that I can work on my form. I scramble up the rocks again. Man, the adrenaline is wearing off, I guess. By that time, I get to the top. I'm gasping for air. Here goes nothing. Take a running start for my biggest jump yet. But as I get to the edge, I trip, tumbling off oh the cliff God. and onto the rocks below. <laughs> as my broken body slips in the water, oh I look God. down to see a pool of red forming around me. <laughs> I don't have long, just long enough to be alone with my thoughts. Why? Why did I push myself beyond physical limits? Why did I let the search for adrenaline overrule my sensibilities? Why did I use the buddy system? Goodbye, cruel world. I can see that my chances that love were dashed much the same way as my poor body was dashed upon these rocks of this waterfall. <laughs> died! <laughs> you water fell to your death. Woo! Yes! Nice! Oh, I love it. Okay, we gotta, load, we gotta go back. load up. God damn, that's so funny. That's oh, awesome. Dead. <laughs> you're you're right. right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 
we should probably head back. We go put our clothes back on and notice that they're soaking wet. Maybe a splash fight wasn't the best idea. Ah, uh, it's okay. We'll get the fire going in no time. <laughs> we could dry off and get some dinner going. Sopping wet, we hike mm. back to the mm. camp and unpack everything we need for dinner. Craig pulls out a couple of steaks and some chopped potatoes and tinfoil. I'm so glad that you can die in this game. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, man. You ready for a feast? Hey, man, take a seat. The Craig train is pulling into the relaxation station, and I'm your conductor. Oh, that's hot. Let me cook for you. Absolutely not. Cooking is the thing that relaxes me most. I'll take it from here. Craig cooks now? I remember how his entire sophomore year diet consisted of microwavable mac and cheese, but not microwaved, and have trouble believing the thing he just <laughs> said. At least let me start the fire. Hmm. Sure. Let me just grab my matches. Craig, Craig sets me on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he rummages around his bag, pulling things out and checking every pocket. Uh-oh. Oh. I know I packed it. Craig checks another bag and still can't find it. <clears throat> My stomach grumbles, and now I'm more acutely aware of how cold and wet I am. We really need to get a fire started. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. Oh, no. Gosh, I'm so stupid. I, I could have sworn I'd packed it. I'm sorry, dude. Don't be. We can figure this out. We can start a fire. We're smart guys. I mean, how hard could it be? I've watched plenty of survival programs on TV. If a naked reality TV star can do it, so can we. We'll need some wood. I gestured to the trees around us. Oh, there's no shortage of that. And some tinder. Oh. We can make that work. I got out of my phone. <laughs> uh, and then I think some ancient aliens are then supposed to come by and give us advanced technology. Or, reven or renovate our house. Depends on the show. Craig and I gather a variety of wood, bark, and moss until we have all the materials that could conceptually make a passable-looking campfire. Just that fire, right? That's the fun part. The sun is just now setting, and a cool breeze rustles the leaves of the trees around us. We have to work quick. Nice. I've done this in the past, and I know I can figure it out. Just, just give me a second. Any way I can help? Hmm. Give me some moral support. Lift my spirits, and we'll make this fire happen. Oof. Oof. Go overboard with compliments. <laughs> <laughs> You're really giving that fire the business. You're an amazing, hardworking father with a steady work ethic and everyone loves you. Your daughters think you're a superhero and the neighborhood dads respect you immensely. Also, your butt looks great. Oh, oh shit. Bro, <laughs> stop. You'll make me cry. Okay, okay. Don't want your tears putting out the fire. Oh shit, eventually Craig is miraculously able to get something going. He blows on the embers and gently places the glowing moss into the base of the pit. Soon enough, we have a nice little fire going. Way to go, man. We're regular old outdoorsy fellas. Oh. Hooray for not dying! Ah! <laughs> I take a seat in one of, the old, uh, one of the lawn chairs Craig brought and cozy up to the fire, warming up my hands. Hmm. Relax, man. <clears throat> take it easy. Let me handle the dinner. Ooh. I watch as Craig strokes the f stokes the fire <laughs> and sets up a makeshift grill. I for watch steaks. as as <laughs> Craig puts his hand into the fire. Madness overtakes it. Craig as he strokes the fire. <laughs> his hand is in the fire and he rotates it every so often and then cuts it off and puts it on a plate. <laughs> After all that hiking and swimming and fire starting, I'm able to relax a bit. With the sound of crickets and the scent of steak filling the air, I actually feel pretty calm. Craig expertly sears two steaks in a pan he's been heating up on the fire, cracking thyme and crushing ginger, crushed ginger over it while bas basting them both in butter. Wow. <laughs> Having some trouble? Having some trouble <laughs> yeah. Butter? Wow, I didn't know he was actually good at cooking. The fanciest I ever saw him get in college was when he started sprinkling the seasoning packet onto dry ramen and eating it straight up. That sounds good. Yeah, people say it's good. I've never had it. When did this happen? You used to eat cereal every morning with beer instead of milk. Oh. I grew up, I guess. I think these are just about ready. <laughs> Craig puts the steaks onto a paper plate and sets them aside. I start to reach for one, but Craig smacks his hand, oh. my hand away. Dude, let them rest. It'll be more flavorful that way. I patiently return to my seat, eyeing the steaks longingly from a distance. They smell incredible. Craig prepares a, a side salad for us in the meantime, sprinkling feta cheese onto freshly chopped greens. He plates it next to a generous pile of roasted potatoes covered in olive oil and rosemary. Once it's all ready, we sit down by the fire and dig in. Oh. Everything tastes okay? I'm in heaven. Oh. 
That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Remember for how an entire... <laughs> <laughs> That's when he's in heat. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Remember how for an entire semester we would eat burritos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Uh, so hard not to go back to that. Also, how many semesters did we go to college together? You keep bringing them up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now, man. You have kids, a great job, and now you cook like a vengeful wizard whose arch nemesis is microwavable food. I'm really impressed with how much you've gotten your life together. <laughs> Craig laughs. Uh-huh. But there's no humor in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think that. I glance at Craig while he picks at his salad. He really grew out of his baby face, but there's something about his expression that makes him seem so much older than he is. A sense of maturity he didn't have in college. He looks exhausted. And if you want to know why he's exhausted... Check out the next episode of Criticade Babies. Oh! We're gonna fuck him. We're gonna fuck him. We're gonna fuck him. Fuck him. We might fuck him. We might fuck him. We're gonna probably fuck. Probably, him. Fuck, we're probably, gonna, probably fuck. gonna fuck him. I, I, if not if, next episode, then the if next. If not, one we're gonna go online and search him Rule Thirty Four for Craig and fuck him that way. Oh. <laughs> Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Do it's Robert. Thanks for watching. It's Criticade. Make sure to subscribe. Do 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 do. 